The Eastern Roman Empire was brought to its knees after a century of cold weather led to famine and plague across the ancient world, according to new research. Dubbed Late Antique Little Ice Age, this previously unknown period of climate change was revealed in the patterns of tree rings across Asia and the Alps. Within five years of the onset of this ice age, volcanic eruptions, followed by famine and plague, killed millions of people, caused political upheaval and may have brought down the Roman Empire. The research was carried out by ULF Buntgen and his team at the Swiss Federal Research Institute. Temperatures were reconstructed by analyzing tree ring measurements from the Altai Mountains where Russia, China, Mongolia, and Kazakhstan meet. These measurements were then compared to similar records from the Alps. The width of tree rings is a reliable way to estimate summer temperatures, and the two sets of records corresponded remarkably well, according to the study. Based on these measurements, the researchers believe the late antique Little Ice Age began in around 535 AD. There was a marked temperature drop following three major volcanic eruptions, in 536, 540 and 547 AD. Volcanoes can cause climate cooling by ejecting large volumes of small particle sulfate aerosols, that block sunlight. The researchers think this spate of eruptions may have combined with a solar minimum, when the sun radiates less heat, extending the grip of the freezing climate for over a century. These events likely affected food supplies and a major famine struck the region at precisely this time followed immediately by the Justinian Plague pandemic. The Justinian Plague started in 541 AD and swept through the Mediterranean, striking Constantinople and killing millions of people in the following centuries. The Eastern Roman Empire's soldiers were among those struck by the plague, for example, weakening its army and the health and numbers of the Roman population. Further south, the Arabian Peninsula received more rain allowing more vegetation to grow. The researchers speculated this may have driven expansion of the Arab Empire in the Middle East because the vegetation would have sustained larger herds of camels used by the Arab armies for their campaigns. In cooler areas, several tribes migrated east towards China, possibly driven away by a lack of pasture land in Central Asia. This led to hostilities between nomadic groups and the local ruling powers in the steppe regions of northern China. An alliance between nomadic groups in the steppe and the remnants of the Eastern Roman Empire led to the collapse of Sassanian Empire in Persia, allowing the new Arab Empire to seize power. The Western Roman Empire didn't fall until later, widely accepted as around 475 AD. This was similarly blamed on a variety of factors, including moving migrant populations, increasing pressure from barbarians outside Roman culture, and the loss of territory in the East. Buntkin described the newly identified Late Antique Little Ice Age as the most dramatic cooling in the Northern Hemisphere in the past 2000 years. He also warned that other variables were important, and we must remain cautious about environmental cause and political effect, but it is striking how closely this climate change aligns with major upheavals across several regions. The research is part of the International Past Global Changes, pages, project, and is reported in the journal Nature Geoscience.